Welcome back. In today's video, going to be diving into some polling data that we've gotten out of these Midwestern states, taking the most time looking at this Iowa poll that came out from Quinnipiac yesterday and diving into a bunch of the different questions that they asked and just some really interesting data. And then we also had a separate poll that came out that looked at four key Midwestern states of Michigan, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, as well as Minnesota, and just showing you how the candidates are doing in those potential primaries that are going to be obviously a little bit after Iowa in this process. So we're going to start off here with the Quinnipiac Iowa poll. And if you're interested in looking at all this data and diving into it for yourself, I'll have links posted at the bottom of the video description. So starting off here, they asked out of these candidates, who would you support in the Iowa caucus? So we have in first place, Elizabeth Warren at 20%, followed by Buttigieg right there, very competitive at 19%. Bernie Sanders at 17%, and then another Iowa poll where we have Biden in fourth place at 15%, but also relatively close, clearly among the top four individuals. And this Iowa poll, relatively large for a state-specific poll at around 700 respondents, whereas the next set of data that I look at in the other Midwestern states, we're only getting between two to 300 people. So the margin of error a bit larger in the polls that I'm going to be touching on towards the end of this video. So just going through and taking a look at the makeup here of the support behind these candidates. So those who identify as being very liberal, Sanders leads that group at 32% and Warren right there at 30%. And then those who identify as a moderate conservative Democrat, this is where Buttigieg does pretty well at 19% as well as Biden at 18 percentage points. And then you can also see the makeup of men to women in terms of men support. Sanders leading the pack at 23% and in terms of women support, Elizabeth Warren leading the pack at 22. And then white and college educated. This is where Pete Buttigieg does his best at 24% of support. And then we also see white with no college education, Bernie Sanders leading this group at 23%. Now going down and taking a look at the age demographic mix-up. So those that are between the age of 18 to 49, Biden continues to struggle with this group at just 6%. Sanders leads the pack at 28%, Warren there at 24 And then as you get to those older age demographics, this is where Biden and Buttigieg in particular start doing quite a bit better. Going down and taking a look at what an important quality is for these voters and how each candidate does. So most likely to win in 2020, this is where Biden, Warren, and Buttigieg are actually all tied for first at 21%, would be a good leader. This is where Warren, as well as Buttigieg, are doing quite well. Buttigieg there at 32%, and then Warren at 21%. For those who said honesty is the most important quality, Sanders leads the pack at 23%, and then Buttigieg is there at 21%. And somebody who cares, this is where Sanders leads the way at 33%. And then all the other candidates are actually quite a bit behind that. And then those who said that these particular issues were the most important to them. So on the economy, this is where Buttigieg led the pack at 25%. On healthcare, this is where Bernie leads the way at 26%. And then on the issue of climate change, it's pretty competitive among the top three where you have Warren at 25, Buttigieg at 24, and Bernie at 20 percentage points. So I also found this really interesting. Those who said that they're likely to attend their first caucus, so people who aren't typically going out and voting in these caucuses historically, this is not surprisingly where the progressives, particularly Bernie Sanders, does the best at 30%, followed by Elizabeth Warren at 24%. But those who have said that they have attended caucuses previously, this is where Buttigieg does the best at 21 percentage points. And then going down to the next question where they asked, how are you feeling about your excitement towards these different candidates? And Sanders leads the way with the most excited supporters. Those who said that they were extremely excited had Sanders at 52%, Biden at 19, Warren at 23, Buttigieg at 31. So that's a big positive for Sanders, having extreme enthusiasm behind his candidacy, which means those people are more likely to show up and actually vote. And then very excited. You can see how those numbers play out as well as mildly excited. And continuing to go down here to the next question. So they asked if you're committed to your candidate or if you might change. So those who were most committed to their top choice was Sanders at 61%. You can see Biden at 48, Warren at 44, and Buttigieg at 40. And those who might change, only 37% of Sanders compared to 51 for Biden, 55 for Warren. 
and 58 for Buttigieg. Another positive sign for Bernie Sanders is he has the most committed supporters and those that are least likely to change their mind, which could possibly help him in the polls going forward if he's able to have some really positive moments and maybe pick up some of these uh, supporters that are currently having their top choice be some of these other candidates. And then they asked, who would be your second choice? So among the second choice options here, Buttigieg led the pack at 17, followed by Warren at 16, and then Sanders at 13, and Biden at 12. But more importantly, the second choice of those candidates who are pulling less than 15 percentage points, so those individuals who are more likely to drop out before we actually get to the Iowa caucuses, among those individuals, this is where Buttigieg and Sanders does a bit better at 22% and 21 percentage points, respectively. You really want to be the second choice of those candidates who are more likely to drop out, so that could possibly be a positive catalyst for Buttigieg and Sanders as they try to leapfrog Warren in what is currently a very close race right at the top in the state of Iowa. And those are all the particular numbers that I wanted to touch on in this Iowa poll. Some fascinating data and little interesting things with these different questions on how all of the support is shaking out among those individuals. So now to wrap up this video, just to quickly touch on these four Midwestern states of Michigan, Minnesota, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. And as you can see, these sample sizes are quite a bit lower than the previous poll we were just looking at, which was around 700. These were more in the two to 300 range. But Positive overall signs from Warren in these states where she's leading Michigan with 25%, followed by Biden at 19 and Bernie Sanders at 15 percentage points. All the other candidates are in single digits. And then in Minnesota, Warren again leading the way at 25%. And then you have a very close race for second where Klobuchar is at 15, Biden at 14, and Sanders at 13 percentage points. Now, Minnesota, a caucus state, and Bernie Sanders absolutely blew the polling out of the water from Minnesota, particularly. He absolutely crushed it where the polls had him very low, but then he completely dismantled Hillary Clinton in that caucus. And we saw this in a number of caucus states specifically because a lot less people show up in those. And for those that are extremely enthusiastic or behind their candidate to a high degree, very politically active, tended to be more Bernie Sanders supporters back in 2016. And we just saw this actually from the prior poll from Iowa that we were just looking at. So in Minnesota, in particular, when we're taking a look at these polls, I would expect Sanders to outperform given the fact that it is a caucus. But then we go over and take a look at Pennsylvania. They had a closed primary back in 2016, so Sanders didn't do quite as well in that Midwestern state compared to all the other Midwestern states. And again, that was another trend that we saw in 2016, where if it was a closed primary where only registered Democrats could vote, this is a block of voters that is in general tending to be more older in the demographic, that's where Sanders didn't do quite as well. So that could hurt him again this time around in Pennsylvania. And then also Joe Biden, his ties to the state of Pennsylvania are likely to help him out. So he is leading the way at 27%, followed by Warren at 18 and Sanders at 14. And then the state of Wisconsin, this one actually probably surprises me more than any of these other polls where Sanders is in third place at 10% because Sanders, he well outperformed the polling in Wisconsin, did very well in the state. There's a lot of love in the state of Wisconsin for his populist progressive message. And I would be very shocked if Sanders didn't do quite well in a state like Wisconsin, just like he did back in 2016. But we see again, another positive one here for Warren leading the pack at 22%. Biden at 17% in second place, and then Sanders at 10 percentage points. So those individuals that were polled here, uh, disappointment has to be for Buttigieg. So Buttigieg, he's doing well in the first state of Iowa, and that can prop him up as a perceived stronger candidate than maybe what he is otherwise. So that could help him possibly going forward if he has a strong performance in Iowa. But still, these other states... He's not hitting quite as much where we see with uh, Pete Buttigieg across these four states, he's combining to get 5%, 7% in Michigan, which is right on the border of South Bend. So there's definitely going to be a bit more of a people knowing at least who he is just based on the fact that, again, he's the mayor from a neighboring state to the state of Michigan. So and then you can also maybe get some crossover there, but still only 7% in the state of Michigan as well as Minnesota. And then 3% in Pennsylvania and 6% in Wisconsin are not the kind of numbers that Buttigieg is going to be looking for in these states. And then Klobuchar, the very popular and approved of senator from Minnesota, not probably quite as good of numbers as she would hope for, 10 percentage points behind Warren. And then in a really close three-way race for second place along with Biden and Sanders in her home state, not a great sign for Klobuchar as well. And then just to wrap things up, 
taking a look at the second choice. So let me zoom in here. So we can see uh, for those who uh, have made up their mind, their second choice, Elizabeth Warren leading the way at 26%, followed by Bernie Sanders at 16%, and then Joe Biden. Another poor result for him in terms of second choice among these voters, where he's in fourth place at 10%, and then Buttigieg in third place at 13%. Percentage points. So those are all the numbers that I wanted to touch on here in today's video, focusing on these just fascinating polls that we've gotten out of the Midwest over the past couple of days. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, and I hope to see you guys back here for my next video.